In this video, we're going to go over importing your own sound kits, both the ones you make yourself, the ones you buy elsewhere, or the ones you get from us. First thing you'll do, for our kits anyway, is click on sound kits. You'll go to our site and it'll pop up all of our different kits. So you'll preview the ones you like. They also are triggered by your keys that you type on. Uh, if you like the one that you're on or if you want to get our whole bundle, which I'd recommend, you'll get all eight of them for 47 bucks. It's a good deal. You'll download them to your computer. They'll come to you in zip files. You'll unzip them. You'll have folders. So let's say we want to import Beatbox 5. I'll simply right click on it, click on copy. Then what you'll need to do is go into your dub fo dub turbo folder within program files, usually found in C program files, dub turbo 1.5. And in here, what we need to do is click on your samples folder. You'll see a bunch of icons and two folders, one being drums, one being keys. What we're doing here is importing a drum kit, the beatboxer kit. So we'll click on the drum kit and we'll simply paste the kit that we just copied and downloaded. So now we have a Beatboxer 5 kit within the drum folder. We'll go up a level. We'll click on keys. I'm also going to paste this same kit within the keys just for this example. And then I'll also do a nice, little, a nice little drum roll effect within the keys to show you what else you can do and how these are interchangeable back and forth. So I've just imported a new kit that I got into both the keys folder, the drums folder. Now what I need to do is parse both of these. I'm going to parse my drums by double clicking on the parse drums.exe and you'll see a new icon pop up. Then I'm going to double click on parse keys and you'll see the same thing. A new icon pops up. I'm going to select both of these, right click, cut. Okay, don't copy but cut. Go up a level and now we're going to go into data. In data you'll see there's already a drums and a keys file we want to overwrite them so we're going to right click paste it'll ask you if you want to overwrite them and you'll say yes to all okay now if i go back to dub turbo i have to actually close it first then restart it once i do my new kit should now be in here if i lay down a bar set click edit scroll down i should see beatbox five there we go beatbox for five and there's my new kit Let's make a little beat. Okay, so we just made a new little beat. It's at 120 BPM, that's why it sounds redonkulous. Go down to 95. And then what, we'll, what else we'll do is on a key track, I'll do the same thing. Lay down two, click on edit, and I'm going to find, click on P as well, I'm going to find Beatbox 5, there it is. And I'm going to find that same snare I'm using, four, okay. And I'm going to do something really cool here for you guys so you understand how beat rolls work. And this is only at 95 BPM. If you double it, if you're working in the 150 to 190 range, it sounds really, really great. But I'll just make this simple here so you guys can see what happens. Okay, what I'm going to do here is roll the drum down. And it's the same snare I'm using in this. But what I need to do first is grow my bar count so that this first one is actually looped three times and the final bar it drops like this so we'll go to eight because we're working with sets of two we'll go one two and then leave this guy at the very end in fact we could even go four and then edit this last one so that it doesn't have anything past the first four bars okay so here we go very simple just imported made a kit made a beat and now we'll have a drop at the end
Okay, sounds great if you loop that too because you'd obviously hear the drop come in. So we'll go to like that. Let's just copy this right at the beginning. Give you guys the same thing at the first bar. Erase the last few notes. And... Okay, what I'll do now is click on new and this time I'll do the same thing. I'll work with the BPM though of 165. And it's trickier because you're double timing. So you gotta... Work with half bars basically. Even though it's, it's two bars here I've drawn in, it's double timed. So it'll only be... Oops, and that even got laid wrong. Okay, so what I'll do here is the same thing. Layer 5. I'll find Beatboxer 5. Snare, and I'll fill it in with the same type of roll that we did. Okay, so now we'll grow this to 8 as well. Duplicate this. <coughs> Let's actually make a second layer here. Okay, so you should hear a very nice rolled hi-hat and then a very nice drop here. We'll have it on both, the middle and at the very end. And we'll go back in, get rid of some of these guys, just to give room for the roll to happen and for it to be nice and clear as it does. That's fine. Sounds great, doesn't it? Alright, so that's how you would utilize the import function. If you're making your own kits, we'll cover that in another video, but you're basically chopping up your samples in any editor, making dot ways at 44.1, stereo 16-bit, arranging them into packages of 10 if you're making drum kits, or if you're making categories for the keyboard, it's unlimited. You can have as many sounds in each folder for the categories as you want. If you simply copy a category over, from the keys over to the drums and there's more than 10 sounds in that folder it'll read the first 10 alphabetically within that folder and disregard the rest so just keep the note for that all right we'll see you guys in the next video we'll be covering a lot more from here cheers Turbo.com. Yeah.